Autumn, are you ready to go on your trip? No? You don't want to go on our first trip? Where are we going to go? Is everything packed up and ready? Faith, where are we headed on our first trip? What? Where are we going on our first trip? Okay, so we're headed out on our first trip and we're getting everything packed because it is moving day. Hey Jeff. And we are headed to Idaho for our first trip and we're going to go see some friends up in Napa and then we are going to um, the Snake River and we're going to camp out there where they have this beautiful place um, in the falls and I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then Autumn, I'm not going to leave you honey. You want to come? Okay, let's get you to go. Okay, all right. First trip out, yay, woohoo! This is our first trip and that is our home. And we were joking and laughing about it because the kids were like, our home is leaving us! Because Jeff got a far, too far ahead of us. But right now, we are gonna go weigh it for the very first time, which we've never done before. And we are curious to see how much it weighs. Um, it, we're driving it with it empty. Um, meaning the tanks are all empty and we're not really sure if we should fill them up or not. So we'll just have to see. And we were joking around earlier too about how we left something at home. We we're like, oh, we forgot to pack it. We forgot to pack it. Anyway. Okay, so we are in Idaho. This is our first trip. And all around us, there are different types of class. Needless to say, one of the wonderful things about being a full-time traveling family is when you find the okay, opportunity to... Hey, by the way. They're really loud. By the way. Hold on. When you find the opportunity to teach your kids and it works with your current curriculum, you can stop in the middle of nowhere and show them all of the different types of clouds and how we're surrounded by all of them or whatever. So we're driving and we saw a sign that said this is a geological site and we thought why not? Let's stop. Let's see what it is. What'd you just learn about Jake? By the way, the raptor, the raptor birds like hawks. Hi. And owls too. And, owls. and don't forget to subscribe. And there's our autumn. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Where are we? Lake Bonneville. Yeah. Let's go see it. Subscribe so for how beautiful this is. Oh. <laughs> so Jeff, what happened to your toe today when we were packing up? I ripped the nail off. He ripped the nail off. How did you do that? I was putting a piece of wood against the tree and it fell and hit. It totally I thought it scraped the top, but it actually caught my toe. And the, it right off. Yeah, as the piece of wood fell, it caught his toenail. He like jumped and it caught his toenail, literally ripped the whole big toenail completely off. Tell us how it felt. I just thought it scraped the top of my toe. <laughs> and then I looked down and my toenail was missing. Oh my gosh, it was awful. So we're here at the BLM land. So we get to park for free, check out, and oh my gosh, I wish my camera was better. This amazing sunset. The colors are actually way darker pink and um, the wonderful thing about it is that we have, I don't know if you guys can see that, that is a view of the Twin Falls Temple for our faith. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, it'll be even brighter at, when it gets really dark at night. But this is, and we just saw two deer pass us, there's the moon, almost three quarters full. Uh, and the moon is big and bright. It's going to be beautiful. We are so excited. And my foot fell asleep because it, it's tingling. <laughs> are you excited, Jake? Yeah. It's going like to be fun. I like when my foot falls asleep. Um, we did have two deer pass us. What do you think, Emma? 
You're gonna cartwheel it? Hey, Autumn, we're here. Are you excited? Buckle. You wanna get unbuckled? Okay. Emma, what are we doing right now? <laughs> we came cherry picking and what happened? I got stung by a bee. You got stung? <laughs> oh no. Where did it sting you? <laughs> oh, poor thing. <laughs> Let's go back to cherry picking. That was fun, right? And we get to go take them home and eat them. We're at a cherry orchard. Autumn, what do you have? Do you got cherries? Should we go pick some more? Let's go pick some more. Come here. Emma, poor thing, upset the stink. Cherry has an elephant trunk. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Look at the cherry. It looks like I have an elephant. Oh, like trunk. a pony. Yeah. Or oh, like a horse tail. Or like a ponytail from a girl. How many cherries you guys got? You got to fill this whole bucket. What are you doing? Filling it. You got to fill it faster, girl. Go, go, go! This whole bucket better be filled. Stupid earwig, you're slime. Oh, gosh. What are you guys doing? Bug. There's a bug in the cherry box. Is it gonna eat all your cherries, Autumn? Yes. yes. Oh no! Jeez. Kill it! Look at Theo's helping Jacob Theo get the tall me. cherries. Hey, Jake. Theo did it to me, and it was fun. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Theo did it to me. I don't think it's a bad in. Wow, that's a lot of aspirin. Oh, I'm back. Oh, Here, come get some more off this tree. See? Some more cherries. Yay! And then we get to go eat them. Yeah? Is it fun to pick them off? We went and visited our friends in Nampa, Idaho on our first trip out just to also see how we would drive with the rig and how it would handle as well as to test out our solar panels and see how that would function. And it did awesome. We were able to have full power with the solar. It was great. And you know what? There is no better way to travel and visit anyone than to take your own house with you and park it on the side of their house. It's like never leaving home. We just changed our front yard.